How are we doing, folks? Welcome back to the channel. So, some time ago, round about when uh, the early access released for Grey Zone Warfare, we did some tests with the uh, 4080 Super. Now, I remember saying at the time it feels like we were up against a bit of a CPU limitation, really, with the game, because it felt like even at 1080p low, if you go back and watch the video, I'll put a little card up top if I remember. Even at 1080p low, we were struggling really to get past a kind of 100 to 120 FPS limit. Now, I've chucked in my old 3070 into my 5800X 3D build just to kind of see what we're likely to get. And so I've put us on 1080p low preset and you can see the GPU is more or less fully pegged, 97, sometimes 98% usage, drawing its full kind of 230 watts of power. Uh, and you can see the memory there is 7.7 uh, .7 gig, which uh, is pretty, pretty stacked considering it's an 8 gigabyte card. And I just wanted to kind of see what the difference is and kind of see what we can expect really from a 3070. Because, uh, you know, this game is quite a looker. It's an Unreal Engine 5 game. And as you can see, 1080p low, we are struggling struggling to get much beyond 70 fps and obviously the one percent lows aren't very good either that's 36 which uh yeah that's really not great is it and the 1.1 percent lows are 20 so we are struggling quite a bit at 1080p low and i think that is mostly due to the gpu which seems to be fairly maxed out now just to test that i'm gonna turn on some dlss because at the moment this is just 1080p so we'll try dlss and we'll see what happens yeah, there we go. So still at 1080p low, um, but now I've enabled DLSS in the performance mode and our FPS has gone up. So we were clearly, clearly GPU limited there at 1080p low. Now we're kind of more into the 100-ish FPS range, which isn't, isn't bad, although we are running at DLSS performance and I don't really like performance. My, uh, my kind of minimum acceptable quality for DLSS is, well, quality mode. I don't really like going much below that. Um, 4K DLSS quality I think is a, a fairly good compromise between visuals and performance. 1440p I would rather avoid it altogether if I can. Um, I'm willing to tolerate quality in a pinch. You know for something maybe like Cyberpunk where you want the ray tracing or the path tracing or, or whatever. Um, 1080p I would consider it a no-go so the fact that we've got it on now at all. Not to mention the fact we've got it on in performance mode and we're still only getting 100 FPS is a testament really to kind of what a heavy hitter this game is but like i say unreal 5 it's uh quite remarkable really the visuals of it even looking at it in 1080p low it still doesn't look bad so what we're going to do we're going to gradually crank up the settings and kind of see at what point how far can we get from low basically because even at low without dlss we're kind of what i would consider to be the more or less minimum <laughs> acceptable standards at 60 70 fps but let's just gradually crank stuff up we'll go from low to medium and we'll see what happens all right we're now at 1080p medium we don't have any dlss on this is just uh kind of native 1080p performance medium preset and actually it's not as bad as i thought it was going to be we're still pretty much in the same position as we were at 1080p low which i find a little bit weird um still at around the 70 fps which you would think that given that we've gone from low to medium, I was kind of expecting more like 50 or 60, but I'm struggling to see a huge difference. If we add on performance DLSS, do we still go back up to the kind of 100-ish frames per second? Let's just uh, pop that on, go performance so it's like for like. Yeah, I mean, it's not quite as high, is it? Let me just reset the averages. Yeah, I don't think it's quite as high as it was before, so maybe there is more of an overhead there. Um, yeah, I mean, we're still able to kick around the 100 FPS mark, but again, we're only at 1080p, we're only at medium, and we've got DLSS on, so... I mean, I wouldn't say it's uh, time to start popping the champagne by any means. Um, but I suppose if you're on a 3070, 100 FPS isn't too bad in a game like this. Right, dare I go to high? Yeah, so we are just, aren't we, just at 60 FPS. I mean, that's really close. Closer than I would like, really. And keep in mind that we're in the base at the moment. The minute you step outside and start actually playing the game, it's probably going to get an awful lot worse. 
God, this game is just going to absolutely melt people's PCs, isn't it? All right, let's see what DLSS does. Is it going to get us back up to the kind of 90 or 100 range that we've become used to seeing? Or are we going to see like a CPU limitation? Fairly certain we're GPU limited still. For the most part. But we are at least, near, you know, comfortably above 60. Now into the 80s. Yeah, okay. I mean, I wouldn't really want to play like this, though, to be quite honest with you. Not with DLSS on performance. It's not really... What would it do on quality? I mean, 1080p, I don't want DLSS on at all, to be quite honest with you. But it doesn't seem like an awful lot has changed, does it? Okay, so yeah, we're now into like the low, mid, mid 70s as opposed to 80s. We're seeing more of a 75 more frequently, aren't we, than we were before? Yikes. All right. Um, okay, let's just do Ultra. I was going to say, we, there's no point doing Ultra, but maybe there is just for. Oh, Epic. Don't call it Ultra on here, did I? I forgot. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay, so Epic, we're not even. Uh, we're lucky to break out of the 40s, aren't we? It doesn't feel good does not feel good at all. Yeah, this is uh this is less than ideal. Less than ideal. Can we get anywhere near to being above it with some DLSS? I mean, in fairness, it gets you nearer to 70, DLSS in performance. But again, with a game like this, I, oh, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just not loving the idea of DLSS at all, because there's so much foliage, and DLSS is kind of... I feel like that's probably where it's going to be quite weak, is like foliages and, you know, trees and bushes and grass and all that kind of stuff. I know with Call of Duty, I've... I had it once before where like, I had DLSS on and I thought I saw a flicker in a bush and I was like, oh, that's an enemy. Shot, gave away my position and actually someone over there shot me with a sniper. So I maintain that DLSS caused the end of that Warzone match and I was on to a good good match as well. That I was quite annoyed. Um, but there you go. All right, let's see if uh, we can even, well, I don't know, 1440p we might get lucky. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just see what happens at 1440p. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we are at 1440p low with no DLSS, and we are not getting anywhere near 60 FPS, are we? We're a good 10 FPS away on the averages, nearly. 1% lows, 0.1% lows aren't doing much better either. Um, I mean, we're going to need DLSS in some form or another, aren't we? To get anywhere near having a playable experience. Now, at 1440p, I would consider DLSS at quality to be okay. And that just about... Uh, yeah, okay. Let me just reset the averages. It just about gets you above 60, doesn't it? Kind of nearer to 70. But then your 1% lows and 0.1% lows aren't great either. Wow. Well, I mean, I suppose this is playable. Okay, so assuming on the basis that 1440p low required DLSS, I'm going to leave DLSS on quality as we um, move up the detail levels. So let's go into the graphic settings and we'll go from low preset to medium. I will just come down to the bottom. DLSS is still on quality. Let's leave that as it is. Okay, so medium takes uh, a little bit off. Let me just reset the averages. Yeah, sort of mid to high 60s, aren't we? That's a heck of a good looking game, though. You can't take that away from it. It doesn't matter how badly it performs. You just look at it and you're like, yeah, okay. I kind of get why it doesn't perform very well. I'm guessing high is going to be the one that takes us beneath... Uh, beneath 60 FPS. Uh, quality preset, high... And we still have DLSS set to quality. Yeah, there it is. 58, 59. We just reset the averages for good measure. 60. So when you're this close to 60 in the camp, 
Um, obviously, if you go out there and actually start playing, yeah, we're not even we're not even maintaining sixty reliably, are we, within the camp? So once you actually start playing the game, I, it's it's going to be worse. Man, what a game! What an absolute monster, monster of a game. Just for the science, uh, let's just see what going to the epic preset does because I imagine it's not going to be good. And again, we're going to keep the DLSS on quality. Yeah, absolutely nowhere near, are we? 50 FPS. So I would say something like 1440p medium with some DLSS on quality is probably, if I were to be playing this with a 3070 on my 1440p display, that's probably, I think, where I would land. Somewhere like that. Somewhere like that. Look at that. It's so all the light on the trees and the cloud and just, yeah. You can see why it's an absolute pig to run, but... Maybe we will need a 5000 Series NVIDIA GPU after all. Maybe we will. I don't know. New CPUs wouldn't go amiss either, would they? I mean, we've done 1080p. We've done 1440. It would be rude to not do 4K. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, 37. I, I really am sorry. So what were we on? We were on Epic, weren't we? On the Epic preset with DLSS set quality. Let's just reset the averages. Because we're good scientists. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I understand. 35 FPS. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, what about... What about... I mean, this is obviously... This is just for fun. Like, I'd never consider playing this. Like this. What about performance? Yeah, okay. Got this up to 40. What if we now drop to low on the low graphics preset thingy? Uh, yeah, so even at low with DLSS on performance, 4K, you still can't get anywhere near 60. So don't use 4K with this card. Um, but you knew that anyway, right? Right? You did know that. I'm sure you did. Yeah. Well... Grey Zone Warfare remains an absolute pig of a game to run, but it also remains a hell of a looker. So, uh, I don't know. It's just one of those things, isn't it? But using the presets, um, obviously, you could, you could dive into, like, settings, guides, and analysis. But this is just, you know, very broadly looking at the presets that we have available to us. Toggling on a bit of DLSS, just kind of seeing what we can get out of the box with uh, minimal effort and obsessing over settings. But what a great looking game. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think as more Unreal Engine 5 games hit the market, I think probably we're going to be, you know, in a position where maybe it becomes a bit more feasible to start considering upgrades because I feel like if you consider from like 2020 to round about now, 3000 series GPUs were holding their own pretty well, I think. Um, but as we start getting games like this and body cam, that's another UE5 game. Uh, you know, I think it's basically going to up the game a little bit for everyone. Because, of course, once developers start making the games in UE5, then kind of the bar raises, doesn't it? But yeah. Oh, my poor 3070. I'm going to have to give it a, a well-earned rest now. It can go back in my streaming PC and just encode video for the rest of its days. Wow. Well, anyway, thank you for watching, folks. Um, yeah, so I guess the takeaway is don't run this at 4K on the 3070. Uh, 1080p, 1440p maximum, and you're probably going to need some DLSS. Um, so we'll leave it there. But thank you very much indeed for watching. Take the very best care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.